Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to create simple 3D model of DICE with Blender and import it into Unity project. So here is new Blender project with standard cube created. We will leave it as it is mostly, but let's just make it a bit nicer. So here in properties editor go to modifiers tab and add new modifier which is bevel. Here we go. And let's increase number of segments here to make bevel smoother. Let it be 5. To make it more smoother we can set shading option to smooth here. There we go. Nice cube. Now let's create a texture for it. Open Inkscape project, draw a square, change color to light gray, enable snapping options, snap to corners and to centers, duplicate squares by Ctrl D and line them like so. Wikipedia says us how to arrange dots for each dice side. I think it's important if we want to create proper dice. So let's draw a circle, change its color to red. I begin from 6. Snap dupe to the center of this side, duplicate and position those new dots like so. Delete central dot. Here is 6. Next is 5. Duplicate this one, snap it to the center, duplicate and so on. 5 is ready. Next is 2. And here is 1. Here will be 3. And here will be 4. OK. Dice pattern is ready. Now let's export it as ping file. Select everything, go to export as section. Make sure that selection will be exported, choose path and file name. And hit export. Here it is exported. Back to Blender project. Divide 3D view to two screens, dragging bottom left corner of it. Remove this sidebar, pressing T key. Switch left screen to UV image editor. Dice pattern will be loaded here. Hit open, find our ping file and open this image. Here it is. Now we need to apply this pattern to our cube. In this window, go to edit mode. Deselect cube vertices, pressing A key. Switch to edge select mode, hit A to select all of the edges, press Ctrl E and select mark seam in this menu. Now our cube is cut to 6 faces. Finally hit U and select unwrap here. Each cube side is arranged here now. But our cube doesn't show any image yet. So switch to cycles render here, select material tab in properties editor and create new material. Here in color option select image texture and link our pattern with this material. Still doesn't work? Switch viewport shading from solid to material and here we go. Texture is applied, but it looks weird. It's because we need to realign cube faces here in UV image editor. Select upper face, see it shouldn't be here, ok, let's fix it. First select all of the faces, pressing A key, hit S holding mouse pointer over the image and scale faces down a bit, so each face has size of one pattern side. Now switch to face select mode here. Select upper face of cube by right click, it's going to show 6 according to wiki instruction. Hit G over cube face in UV editor window to grab it and position it over 6 side like so. Next one is 5. Select cube face here by right click, hit G to grab it here, position it over the 5. Select next face, G to grab it in UV editor, position it like that. Do the same for the rest of the cube faces. In the end we have this pretty textured cube. Switch to object mode here, close UV window by dragging bottom left corner to the left. We can rename our cube as dice here in outliner area. Double click cube, rename it as dice. Now we need to export it as fbx file to be able to import it into unity later. Make sure cube object is selected, go to file, export, export as fbx. Here in export sidebar check in selected objects option so only selected cube will be exported. Select folder to export, name file as you wish, it's dice in my case, and hit export fbx. Here it is exported. Now open Unity project and drag and drop both dice fbx and dice sites image files into project folder. Here is our dice. Why is it grey again you ask? I don't know. All I can offer 
is just to take our dice sites image and drag and drop it into dice game object. Now it looks how we want it to be, so we create simple but pretty cool looking dice. As a bonus, we can create a plane, add a couple of components to our dice, which are box collider and rigid body. Rotate dice a bit in three axes. Hit play and see how it falls. Pretty good. Hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.